The two injuries that I had that were truly injuries, not preventative, were the labrum tears. I went through a lot of years of my life post-starting arm wrestling after football. The labrum pain and the aching was so bad that I couldn't sleep at night. I had to sleep in specific positions and I'd be woken up three or four times a night. Post-injections, I have not woken up from shoulder pain in over six weeks, which has allowed me to increase training capacity in the gym. World champion, Paul Lynn right here. I can tell you, what, what a pleasure treating this guy. It's been a great personal experience. I look forward to continue to see his success. The things that we've been doing to him is really not for any kind of major injury. It's to prevent injury, really. He's had some injuries in the past, but this has really made him bounce back so strong. He's competing at such a top level, a world-class level. And for me, it's thrilling to watch these guys, you know, just continue to soar. You know, what people don't know is, not only uh, did we take care of Paul, but he was so generous to let some of our providers that we train actually practice on him. The, the two injuries that I had that were truly injuries, not preventative, were the labrum tears. I went through a lot of years of my life, especially post-starting arm wrestling after football, where um, the labrum pain and the aching was so bad that I couldn't sleep at night. I had to sleep in specific positions and I'd be woken up three or four times a night. Knock on wood, I have not woken up from shoulder pain in over six weeks, which has allowed me to increase training capacity in the gym. Uh, still a little bit of pain, certain movements in the gym, but drastically diminished. I got a dream one day to be able to throw a football again, and uh, that's what we're working towards. Now, Small we're, steps. We're going to help him accomplish that. But yeah, since then, I've, I've, also had, um, I've also had some injections in my bicep tendon, in my medial epicondyle, um, and in my brachialis. So obviously, those were the most recent, so we'll see how it goes. So the first injection that I got with Dr. Mark, those both were in my labrums, my labrums only. So I don't know how much time's passed, but that was a while. I took five weeks off for that. And in hindsight, like, you know, you live and learn, you test things out. Um, I think during that time of rest, I wound up tightening up a little bit and you know I have never taken five weeks off in the gym since I was 14 years old so this is like new territory for my body and I came back and you know you get the aches and pains that come along with just coming back to training I think gave me the perception that maybe the healing had started when I got out of that lactic acid period and back into training that's where everything started loosening up now last injection I threw caution to the wind and did not take any time off because I have this match coming up. And interestingly enough, my shoulder every week has felt better than the previous. Now, am I back to 100%? No, not 100% yet. But am I better than I ever was prior to arm wrestling? For sure. And the, the, the numbers in the gym are evidence to that. The idea from this point on is to keep these guys on what we call a maintenance plan. Uh, the average human being does not need the maintenance plan, but someone who's going to stress their body like these guys do, they need repeated treatments. Uh, just to make sure those little micro tears don't turn into big, complete tears. We don't want to see that happen. So we're going to keep following up with Paul. Uh, we're going to keep uh, watching his career. We're going to keep, keep, stay, keep you healthy, really. And uh, if that takes once a month, once every two months, that's what we're going to do.